and I pick up jobs or like where was I like what happened I'm just like in my head I'm like oh my god like are these are they serious they asked me what, where I was why didn't I pick up the job I'm a temp I can't work I can choose even if you request me to come into your office if I'm on vacation I'm not gonna try to just okay let me run to this no I'm a temp that's that's how the deal works like I'm allowed to just be working whenever I want that's how it works like I just I didn't get that I didn't like that but I was just like let me let this slide but that was the first red flag I should have I should have seen I should have known that there that was my cue to run like I didn't run I was like you know what I'm just gonna take it as a compliment and just let it go it's all right they just like me and but no I knew better like but. and she completely disregarded what's happening with me okay she was like you know we paid a lot of money for you and I'm just like like I, I was shocked like I, I would never think somebody would say that to me you paid a lot of money for me like in my head I'm like what what, what are you what is she talking about and then I'm like what like what are you talking about and she's like we paid three thousand five hundred dollars let me tell you guys something okay it's recording and this sees me good all right September has been a shitty ass month okay to me <laughs> okay um I don't know what I did to deserve this but I think um everything's happening because like you know how sometimes certain things are happening to you but you've been getting a nudge from the universe or from god or from from the higher power whatever you believe in like you've something has been telling you this is the direction you need to take in your life and you're just being like putting it off procrastinating not doing so so therefore like something else has slapped you on the face that's that's the kind of month i've been getting okay so, I have been a temp, okay? I've been a traveling um, dental hygienist since, you know, I started. Like, I took a couple of months. Um, I mean, I, I took a couple of jobs here and there, part-time jobs. But mostly, I was just like, you know what? I'm kind of, I like being a temp. I like doing my own schedule. I like the freedom, okay? I don't know if it's because... Um, I don't know if it's because like, like the temp agencies that I work for, I work for two different ones. I don't know if it's because they're merging, but I don't know what's going on, but I haven't been getting as much job offers. I've been getting a lot of cancellations. Okay. Today I was supposed to work at this office that hired me. That this part, this is the office I'm going to be talking about. Like the one that's kind of like getting on my nerves right now. I'm trying to like, I was trying to forgive them and like sweep something under the rug, but it still bothered me, but this week I'm doing a lot better handling that stuff. So yeah, that office canceled a job on, like, canceled today. I was supposed to be working today. Today is Thursday. I was supposed to be working today. They canceled, and they told me they were going to pay me half the day. And yesterday I tried to, like, find another job to work today, to be temping today, but that office canceled. So I'm like, what's going on? Like, I think... I need, I think it's time for me to find a full-time position. Um, when I finished school, I was actually looking for a full-time position with benefits and all that good jazz, right? But unfortunately, when you're new to the industry, like only new to hygiene, and you don't have experience outside of school, guess what? Everyone's going to tell you that um, they're gonna, they want to pay you less um, than what you should get because you don't have any experience because you'll be slow because like all that they all like have like a million excuses i had somebody try me yesterday okay they tried it on me like they tried a rate that i was not ex accepting when i finished school or, like they tried that, that on me yesterday and i was <laughs> i i should have recorded this video for the vlog but i don't, i didn't want to do that um I straight up just laughed like I couldn't stop laughing when he was like this is how much um yeah I'm willing to pay I started laughing hysterically because I've been getting like seven dollars plus that like much more than like what he's trying to offer me like I was getting seven dollars more than what he offered okay um during my first three months during the first, um, like the first week, I just accepted anything because, you know, I didn't have the experience. I'm like, let me, let me just jump in there and just see what's happening. Um, so I just accepted any rate. Actually, the first day I accepted any rate. After that, I was like, I'm going to go $2 <laughs> above, you know. I'm like, I'm trying to get a home. I'm trying to, 
you know, be on my grown woman stuff. So I'm, pff, you want me, you're going to have to pay for my house, my future house. So that's, that's what I was on. So let me try to like gather my thoughts because my thoughts are like everywhere right now. I'm trying to talk about why September has been a horrible month, okay? Let me tell you, I love temping. I love the flexibility of it, but this month it hasn't been going well. I haven't been able to find a, a, a like temp jobs, okay? It has not been like when I first started temping. I was working six days a week, and like if offices were open on Sundays, I would be there. To, like I was just that enthusiastic. You guys see how how much I love this career and how much I love the job. Like I. I just, I love it, so I just, I was working all the time, and I, I would leave, and like, I would go to, you know, California, Vegas for fun, for vacation, and came, came back, and I was still working, you know, so it was a lot of fun, so I really love temping, I'm like, you know what, I love temping, I don't know what people are talking about, I'm gonna temp for a whole year, get the experience I need, and then find a full-time position, that was the plan, a year is about to approach, like, we're reaching the end of the year, and I think that's why the universe is like, nudging me, Karen, find a full-time position, because right now, maybe, maybe it's because, they're trying to merge. That's why I have less jobs this, this month. That's what they're telling me. They're, they're merging the company. So it's like something different. I don't know if that's why. But I think it's time for me to find a permanent position. Because today I had two job cancellations. The one that I was supposed to be at. And then the one that canceled on me. So I can't be sitting around not making money. Because I have goals. I need to, I need to make my money. I can't be sitting around. And... This is what I, want to, I wanted to talk about. I feel like what has the mess of September, like what was meant to like, I think it's like a sign from the universe telling me to just stop looking for a full-time position. I'm ready to, for a full-time position because I have the experience I needed. Like at first, um, I didn't have much experience, you know, I just finished school. So I just jumped into, you know, temping and the first three weeks were hard. On the fourth week, I... It's just like, I learned so much from different offices, going from this office to that office, to this, from this dentist to that dentist. Like, some dentists, like, 99% of them were really nice. There was, like, this one mini person, but, you know, I X'd on his, um, I put an X on his um, profile. I didn't want to go back to that office, but every single person has been really nice and re really welcoming, and they were great they were wonderful and I learned a lot from everybody and I feel like with that one year of experience because I, I was thinking I was going from office to office I feel like it's, it equates to like four years of experience and that's that's much that's how much growth I feel like I you know I've earned this past few year you know of hygiene because I've been all over the place and I've seen everything so it has allowed me to know the type of hygienist I am and the type of the type of office that I want to work in, and the type of environment I want to be in, and yeah, it has allowed me to learn so much more about myself as a hygienist. And so I suggest to all the new grads, okay, temp, 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 travel, travel, travel. Um, I mean, right now it's going through rough stage. Like right now, I can't find a job, but for the past, for the last month, I mean, the last few months, like I'm reaching my year of, you know, being a dental hygienist, but only the month of September is, has been rough, okay? The other months, has they all, they all have been great to me. I've been working six days a, a week, okay? So it's just now I'm struggling, so it's time to find a full-time job. Um, this is what I wanted to talk about, okay? This office that I'm currently working in part-time, I didn't even want to be there part-time okay I want I enjoyed working for them but I only wanted to be a temp for them the only reason why I agreed to work for them part-time I didn't like I didn't know how to say no you know how somebody comes up to you and like sub such telling you like all these wonderful things about yourself and so telling you like they like you and they want you to be there for them to work with them and it's just like I didn't know how to say no now I do okay now I'm gonna be like thank you for all the compliments but no thank you you guys do not have what i want i want a full-time position and you guys can't offer that to me that's how i'm gonna handle those type of situations professionally from now on because he, had i handled it this way i would not have been in this mess that i was in the past few weeks okay so basically this office um i, I worked in since 
March. No, no, not sorry, not much. May, okay? May of 2019. Right now we are in September. We're reaching the end of September of 2019. So I worked there. Um, th my first day was in May, and they really liked me, so they kept on requesting me back. So so much so, like I felt like I was working there like all the time. So somebody else had um, gotten married, so that's why I was always there because you know she. I think she moved like to another state. I don't know where she went, but I didn't even meet her. That's what they were telling me. They were telling me that the reason why they need me so much because somebody else had left and they like how I work, so I was working for them all the time. Here's one red flag, okay? I should have seen this. Um, I seen, should have seen the situation coming. Actually, no one told me, but I should have known that she was very controlling. She tries to con she now she's trying to control me. The woman um, who I work for, like she is the dentist's wife so basically she's the manager i think i don't know i never asked okay <laughs> uh, i just go in there do my job and i don't really um you know chat with them just yeah do my job mind my business get paid and get out that's kind of why i like tenting because you just do your job do what you gotta do and get out you don't have time for office drama like this it's why i really loved it okay because there was this one office i worked on saturdays it was just like i didn't get it i'm like i didn't create this mess i'm not here to fix it i'm just here to work get in and get that's it, i don't know why okay so let me just get back to what i was um the story that i'm trying to tell you guys so yeah that office right i started working for them from may now we're in September. From May to the third week of August, I was working there as a team. The third week of August, they asked me, do I want to work for them? And I just didn't know how to say no, so I was like, sure. And then they like went and like filled paperwork and stuff. And like they hired me. But I had no idea. No one sat me down and told me what the process is, what the amount of, like the amount the fee associated with uh, you know hiring to a temp, I had no idea. Like, I mean, I would I would think like I know this they're probably gonna have to pay like a fee, but I had no idea how much it was. Like, I had no idea it was that much. Okay, um, so because when we refer each other to the temp agency, we get twenty dollars. Offices get a hundred dollars. So I'm thinking, like, if I were to like guess to uh, guess uh, an amount, I would say two hundred dollars or 300 I would never thought it was like it exceeded that much okay um like I'm like really naive I guess you could say that and new to the dental field so I have no idea what they're doing okay <laughs> I just go in do my and I never really ask because I just didn't want to get into their like, I feel like they should tell me like they should sit me down tell me this is what we're doing we're paying this much are you gonna be able to like stay with us for this this and such amount of time and then I'll be like woo Okay, I like your office. If you hire me full time, sure. But they were only um, offering a part time position. I should. This is what this. This is the discussion they should have had with me. Okay, I should have been able to make an informed decision, but I wasn't. They just asked me if I wanted to work there, and I thought I was thinking to myself, okay, I can work there for like three to four months, and then and then I'll leave everybody happy, and then I'll leave and everybody's happy. Like I don't. Really, I didn't want to say no to them and make them sad because of the enthusiasm they approached me with and how they were like, Karen, we really like you. We, we like how you treat our patients, um, every, everybody likes you, and we, I just didn't know how to say no to that, it's just like, like, I care too much about people's feelings, and I need to stop that, because, like, <laughs> this past week, I was in my feelings, and I couldn't get it out of my feelings, so I need to stop caring so much about other people, how other people feel, because, honestly, I don't think they care how I feel, to be honest with you, because... It's all a business at the end of the day. Like that's how I should. Like that's where I need to get my mindset because if they don't pay me, I shouldn't be. You know, I'm not gonna be going. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be willing to go to work. To, then if they're not paying me, so I should also be thinking about it, thinking about it this way. Um, when they're approaching you with certain deals that don't work for you, you shouldn't be saying yes to it without thinking about it. Like that's what I should have said. I'll think about it. You know. But I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning. Um. <laughs> So, like I was saying, the woman um, approached me and I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't, like, I had, like, a bad week because I said, sh I said sure and I, and I really didn't want to because I love temping. 
like going to the office and doing what I want and just like go to vacation whatever I, I really love that okay, the last week of August and the first two weeks of September I struggled to find tamping jobs okay I str so I'm like okay so now I need so since I have this um, part-time job with her I need to like fill in the other days for another stable part-time job the only problem is the schedule that she gave me was very inconsistent so Tuesdays and Thursdays that's consistent right every other fr Saturdays and every other um, Mondays that's inconsistent M mind you every other Saturdays is from 2 to um, 8 to 2 every other Mondays is from 2 to 5 okay so like it's not even a full day and I'm like, I still have to wait to go to, to, to go to work for like half a day on a Monday. So that's like cutting out. A... <sighs> it's just, and Mon Tuesdays and Thursdays were fine. It's from 10 to 7, which is fine. If I had like a full day on Monday, it's just like the inconsistency wasn't working out for me. And I couldn't find another office that would, you know, have me work the other Mondays and the other Saturdays, you know, that there they need me it, that's very hard to find another office that would um you know hire me like meanwhile i'm thinking in the back of my head like i what i really want is to start looking for a full-time position that's what i need to start doing but right now i'm sitting there working part-time when what i need to be doing is look for a full-time position so i'm like because i like them the reason why i really uh, agreed to this because the dentist is very ethical okay he's very you know he's not he won't do something he won't recommend a crown when you know only a filling is needed he won't recommend um night guard when the patient obviously doesn't because i've seen a lot, a lot of that stuff so i like working for people who are very ethical because like they're my kind of people so that's why i really and their office is really new it's really nice um they have brand new instruments everything looks great so that those are the reasons those are the pros why i agreed to work with them so for the past three weeks you know the first, the last week of August and two weeks, the first two weeks of September, I was struggling to find a job, you know, so I was not making money. I was only working part time, not making any money. So I approached, I approached the woman, in retrospect, I should have approached the man, the dentist. Maybe he would have had a different answer for me. I didn't like what she said to me did not sit well with me at all. I was just, I was angry for a long time. I'm a Scorpio. It's very hard for us to get rid of anger. <laughs> It's very hard for us to get rid of emotions. Like when people make us feel a certain way, we can feel those exact same, you know, angry emotions just by thinking about what the person said to us or by thinking about the person. Okay, we just feel it. That's why it's hard for us to get rid of. We hold on to grudges. Um, so this is why I've been holding on to this grudge. But then again, I really want to forgive her because I feel like she didn't know what she said or how it affected me. Maybe she does. She's very manipulative. Let me explain to you how. Like, she tried... Here's the very first flag, okay? Around August. No, not August. July. That's when I went to Canada. Okay? I told him I was going to spend 10 days in Canada. And, um, told him I was going to spend 10 days in Canada. Um, I was like... Yeah, when I when I come back, I'll apply to your office, and you know they only need to work certain days. I was like, no, I'm not gonna be here. I've already bought my ticket. I'm gonna be in Canada. When I come back, I'm gonna accept your jobs. They counted ten days down, and started sending me jobs while I was on vacation in Canada. I'm like, I don't know when I'm coming back. I'm a temp, okay? At the time, I was a temp. I'm like, I'm a temp. I don't know when I'm gonna come back. So I don't know why these people keep sending me jobs. Mind you, I took it as a compliment. I'm like, okay, they like me. They really want me to be at the office, but I'm currently on vacation, you guys. I like my freedom. I finally had my, finally earned my freedom. Okay, I'm finally free. Like I've been in school and doing all this stuff just so I could be free and work whenever I want, and I love this. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm like, I'm I'm not gonna accept those jobs right now because I'm out of the country. I'm in Canada. I'm not gonna accept jobs and then feel obligated to run to the states. Like I'm trying to enjoy myself over here. Like. I was in Canada with my sisters and having a blast, but yeah. So when I finally got back into the States, actually I stayed in Canada and then when my sister when it was time for my sister to go back to Haiti, I um she went back to Haiti and I felt sad because I hadn't seen her in five years. So my sis so I went 
we were crying. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sad. I don't want, I don't want to go back home and be my stuff right now. Let me go to Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and spend some more time with family because I'm sad right now. I don't want to go back home and be more sad. So I went to Pennsylvania and spent like four or five days with my family there, and then I came back to um, came back to Boston. Let me tell you, <laughs> the the day I got back, I went into you know my you know office where I work. Um. Tell, tell me why they came in and like they're both like you know when people just come into the room like interrogate me like where, why didn't I pick up jobs or like where was I like what happened I'm just like in my head I'm like oh my god like are, these, are they serious they asked me what, where I was why didn't I pick up the job I'm a temp I can work I can choose even if you request me to come into your office if I'm on vacation, I'm not going to try to just, okay, let me run to this. No, I'm a team. That's, that's how the deal works. Like, I'm allowed to just be working whenever I want. That's how it works. Like, I just, I didn't get that. I didn't like that. But I was just like, let me let this slide. But that was the first red flag. I should have, I should have seen, I should have known that there, that was my cue to run. Like, I didn't run. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take it as a compliment and just let it go. It's all right. They're just like me and, but no. I knew better, like, but whatever. Um, so this is what happened. Let me, finally, I'm telling you guys what, what happened, right? This is what happened that pissed me off about this office. So I approached a woman, and I was telling her how the past three weeks, okay? I was in the second week of September when I approached her. So the last week of August, the first and second week of September, like, I approached her on a Thursday, and I was telling her, how, like I've been able I haven't been able to find jobs to like find to supplement the other days that I'm not here to work so I try to I was trying to tell her I, I told her I can work Tuesdays and Thursdays but however Mondays are not working for me because it's every other Monday from 2 to 7 and Saturdays are also not working for me because it's every other Saturday you know it's from 8 to 3 which is better but it's still not you know, consistent, I'm not able to find other jobs, I need to find another part-time position, and she was like, why can't you just stamp, and in my head, I'm like, oh my god, I didn't like how she said that, because, um, stamping is one thing, if you want to do it, but you can't just tell me why, why can't I just stamp, um, which is an option that I did try, but I have not been able to find jobs, okay, and also, um, I was telling her, like, I want to find a part-time position, like, I'm trying to find a part-time posi position, and she was like, why can't you just stamp, and I was like, um, because, like, I haven't been finding tipping jobs, and then she, she didn't even, she completely disregarded what's happening with me, okay, she was like, you know, we paid a lot of money for you, and I'm just like, like, I, I was shocked, like, I, I would never think somebody would say that to me, you paid a lot of money for me, like, in my head, I'm like, what, what, what are you, what is she talking about? And then I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? And she's like, we paid $3,500 for you. No, she said, we paid $3,500 to have you here. First, she said, we paid a lot of money for you. And then she said, and I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, we paid $3,500 to have you here. And I was like... I was really angry. I was really mad. I was willing to... Because by that time I had to work 60 hours, I was willing to work the rest of the hours it took to have that $3,500 and tell him to keep it. Because I know the reason why she says that is because she wants me, she wants me to feel guilty and stay working at her office. And I was just not about that. Like, I was just like, nope, I'm not going to stay there just because I'd rather, I'd rather give you $3,500 and, and, um, rather than stay here and be manipulated by you like just because you like how somebody work doesn't mean you're gonna try to you know force them into staying into your office like I liked your office I like coming here but I don't want to be forced to come here you know what I mean like it's just when I was struggling in in school <laughs> you would you didn't rush and be my patient so that I could be where I am today you know what I mean like you I didn't see you you know, just jumping in my, you know, in my operatory and trying to, you know, save the day and try to be my people. Like, I didn't see that. Like, where were you when I needed people to, like, I had to chase people down, okay, to be where I'm at. Like, I had to go find people and, like, give them rides, however far they are, like, bring them to my clinic. Just go, but, 
I just, I that really didn't sit well with me. I didn't like that at all. But I didn't tell her anything. Like a Scorpio, I just took the bullet, you know, and internalized it. But it bothered me inside. I just, I was like, all right, I'm really sorry. Although I was really angry, I wasn't sorry. I was telling her my situation. She was just like telling me how much money she paid for me. I, that made me very angry. But, you know, I was like, I'm really sorry. In retrospect, telling her I'm really sorry when I wasn't, I shouldn't have been sorry. And I wasn't sorry. I was just trying to make her feel better because she seemed really sad. Because I, like, at the same time that I'm angry, I can also feel that she's sad because she sees me leaving because you know what I mean like I, although I didn't tell her I was leaving I told her I can only do Tuesdays and Thursdays but she feels like because she paid that much money I, she should be able to tell me to do whatever she wants me to do she should be able to dictate my schedule you know however even if it hurts me financially she should be able to dictate that's the that's what I was that's the vibe I got from her you know by saying she paid $2,500 for me that made me really angry that angered me because no one told me like, I feel like had I made an informed decision, that's one thing. Like, I, like I knew what I was getting. My, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. All I knew was I was trying to be polite and help them, because in the back of my head, I was thinking I need to find a full time position. She came to me, was asking me to work part time, and I'm like, you know what? Since I like them, I'm gonna I'll, let me do this for two, two to three more, um, two to two to three more months. In retrospect. I was doing it to be nice, but I was also being lazy and not taking action and doing what I need to do to get where I need to be, which is why I was told she paid $2,500 for me. So that was a slap in the face I needed to get me motivated to start um, my applications to get a full-time position. So I think it happened. I think it's a good thing it happened. Although it angered me, I feel like that's a slap in the face I needed to like get started. So I, I really need to start a full time. I need to find a full, full time position. Yeah, I'm gonna start looking for a full time. And I'll let you guys, I'll keep you guys updated. But you guys don't really talk to me. Like, I don't know what to make video, videos about. Like, I'm gonna make videos like this because that's what I'm currently going through and that's what I'm dealing with right now. But yeah, I'm just. I was pissed. I was so angry. Like I tried making this video like 50 billion times, but I just didn't want to bring that type of, you know, energy onto the video. I wanted to keep it light and fun and everything, but it's just I couldn't. And I didn't want to bring that type of energy. So that's why I waited until today's the, what the 26th and it happened like the third week of the second week of September, so it happened like last week ish yeah it, it has been bothering me since yeah so that's what I want to talk about uh, so learn from my mistake okay before you take a job from a TAMP agency um, permanent position make sure you ask them what you're getting yourself into so Alright, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Bye guys.